Hey everyone, I'm Kurt from homesidermaking.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to take a hydrometer reading of your sweet cider. A hydrometer is a simple measuring device that measures the specific gravity of a solution. When you place the hydrometer into pure water, the hydrometer will read 1.000. Now if you add sugar to the water, it will raise the specific gravity. It will increase the density of the solution and the hydrometer will float. That will give you a reading on the hydrometer's scale. Now, this is a triple scale hydrometer. It measures specific gravity bricks and it has a potential alcohol scale, which brings up an important point. The reason why we're taking a hydrometer reading at this point is to see what our sugar content is in our juice. This, is, this allows us to calculate the potential alcohol of our cider once it's finished fermenting. To take the hydrometer reading, fill a test cylinder full of your sweet cider and place your hydrometer into the cider. Give it a slight spin this will dislodge any bubbles and make sure that it's not sticking to the side of the test cylinder. And when it comes to a stop, you can take your reading. It can be a little hard to see, but for this cider, the specific gravity is 1.046. Now, with this specific gravity reading, we can enter that into an alcohol by volume calculator, which you can find on the Home Cider Making website. Uh, punching that in will show you that if you ferment this cider down to 1.000, you'll have an approximate alcohol by volume of 6%. Now, you'll want to take another hydrometer reading once your cider is finished fermenting, so you can get a final gravity reading. This way, you can plug that into the alcohol by volume calculator and get an accurate uh, calculation of your alcohol by volume of your finished cider. Hopefully this video gives you a better understanding of how to use a hydrometer to measure the specific gravity of your cider. A hydrometer can be found at any home brewing store, wine making store, and is available on Amazon and many other retailers online. I'll go ahead and drop some links in the description below where you can purchase the equipment that I use today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, Go ahead and leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help. Please subscribe and check out some of our other home cider making videos. From homesidermaking.com, I thank you for watching.